Hey friends, it's really important when you give me a list to play that you keep the instructions really simple, you know, bring it down to Aeolus level. And these are the instructions that Endozoa gave me for playing his red blue mid list. Are you ready? Kinda reactive early. Control the board, then drop fatties and burst him. That's it. That's the intro. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Doing pretty good until Wholesome stopped that streak. Not so wholesome anymore. It's tricky because Giganto Machia. I gotta stop this though. Big Frog from Ian Bits. Have you been playing Mythgard? Ianosaurus Rex, if that is your real name. Why do I have so many Thanes in my hand? Just realizing. Like 17 Thanes. A little sneaky. Are you gonna replay it again? I see your little sneaky plan. I would, I don't think, I think I would have missed that as well. But they did that time. They moved. Interesting turn of events. I feel like it's a bit of a waste to get Fossigram out right now, but it is a good body to have on the board. Kind of a waste of the Awaken though. Like that could be really good to use that like later. So maybe I shouldn't have, maybe I should have just drawn with Brainstorm. Pauper Gauntlet is tricky, history buff. How have your runs gone in that? Remember how I said I was gonna burn all the red because I thought that I need it? And all I've drawn is blue. But that has Agile. It's a terrible thunderclap though. I don't think I need to thunderclap that. So I think I will just... So I can trade into it, play a pup in front of it. It's already got Agile, but it could decide to trade with it. Got a move action. I don't think it's correct to use Thunderclap on one thing. So I think that's what I'll do. Playing it was correct, playing it was correct. Oh see, I'm not sure if I would have clapped on one thing. Because clap might be cooler if they decide to play down more things. Or, alternatively, I can get Magmatored. But, I can't Magmatore them back. So how do you make that decision that you're going to clap on one creature? Like, how do you... I always feel like that is a bit of a feels bad. I need more red cards to burn. Yeah, but see, that's you saying you didn't have a better play. Is like a, um... That's like a knowledge that I don't have, necessarily. I guess, of knowing which is the better play. Do you know what I mean? Like, you're saying it's the, you know what I mean? Okay, so I would have done it because it was my only tempo play. We already decided last turn we're playing tempo by not drawing. We already has a guy in position to take advantage of it. I really need a red card, anything red. If you want to return it to my hand, that's okay. Slide and take out the guy's ankles? Nice. I did have the pup, you're right there. I had a bagel and a juice, so clearly I'm like in a breakfast kind of mood. But I had a big hungy for lunch, so I didn't really feel like a big dinner. A really good big hungy, it was nice. I mean, we've got pretty good card advantage here. 
I am way behind on board, you're right. I can get rid of stuff though. What's a hangi? So a hangi is like a traditional Māori way of cooking where they like, what do they do? They, there's like really hot stones underground and they like cook the food under the ground. Is that the worst description of a hangi you've ever heard? Any of you who are from New Zealand? I'm on a cataclysm. Are any of these watered? Oh, oh, I'm gonna cataclysm the crap out of this. Am I? But then I'm only at five health. And that's a bit spooky. Thunderclap does fuck all. Actually, Thunderclap's quite good, isn't it? The only problem is it puts me at five. Which is very spooky. But they are at 17, and I've got like Magmator and Thunderclap, and a big boy with uh, Overrun. If they rush, I'm in the any rush cards, I'm in like the world's most trouble like you've never known. Sorry. Kind of not sorry. Why can't I deal this to the frickin' face? Why was that going in the face? <laughs> that was so stressful. It's fine. No, keep going was the best part. I just, my, my VODs always get muted. Probably should have burned one of the pups, but I was like, oh, we've got a prodigy. We can get another thing. This song is still a jam, but the best part is you listen to it and um, you listen to it on like someone else's channel so that R. Kelly doesn't get money for it. Is it R. Kelly? Pretty sure it is. No, oh, my puppy. My puppy died. But I do need to burn a red card at some point. So I've got a lot of double readers going on here. Oh my god, whoever runs the real Endozoa. I just want to take a screenshot of that to send him. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Ah. Oh. Should I hit face for zero to show dominance? Does that show dominance? You can argue that it does not show dominance. You feel like it's a hist alt? I'm gonna go with Ian. I reckon it's Ian. I don't know. When have you ever cringed hard enough to say homegirl? Valid. How the crap do they have no cards? Did anyone else like hit to the side of an enchantment just in case it's got something happening? Mum said you can never be too safe. Wise lady. Oh. Rid of that. Perhaps it's best to get rid of that with that, after all. That means I have to get rid of Magmator. That's sad for everybody. 
Maybe I just trade into it and play Magmator. Because otherwise I have to burn Magmator and extract life. And this thing stays alive. Alternatively, I can just trade into this at Magmator. And you know, everyone's happy. For the most part. Still have another Magmator left. I don't know if I did. I may have shown him. Alright, so that poxy blight's gonna come back down. We've run out of cards too. I think I burned all of the cards that I needed. Thunderclap helps. Nah, uh, doesn't really, does it? Why can't I burn that when I really want to? A oh, Magnetor, Thunderclap. Have we had Magnus this game? No. We still have Extract Life, which I still haven't been able to play because I keep not burning my red cards. Oh boy. What are you? Okay, we've burned the red card. We've got that far. I don't mind taking the damage. Yep, there are cards that remove enchantments. Not in this list, but there are. We take one damage, but... I think that's okay. Oh, draw three cards, OP. Not really when you've paid that much for it. The snakes, there's something used to happen with these snakes that was like way worse. 15. More life than you had before. I think it was Burn that had that thing where there was like a bazillion snakes. Like it wasn't just him, but he ran a list that was pretty aggressive with it. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's tricky. We don't accommodate barbarians or peasants. Hey, Bob. Thank you for the resub. Thirteen months. We're getting serious, my love. These snakes. How's work? Do you miss me? Can you tell, the, tell Lucas about the deck that you're playing? Sure, I'll read the description once we've lost. We're not going to lose. That's silly. We're not going to lose. Two Ignitions. Alright, let me just GG just. And we'll be listening to quite a lot of R. Kelly. Um, okay. So. GG, thanks, Woody. This is the description of how to play the list that I'm playing, Bob. Kinda reactive. Early control the board, 
then drop fatties and burst them. So we'll be talking about dropping fatties all stream. We're getting banned anyway, can we listen to Ignition? No. Also, yes.